A Santa Barbara County Sheriff's deputy who suffered a major stroke at the age of 43 is slowly recovering tonight, but he has a long road ahead of him. News Channel 3 reporter Victoria Sanchez joins us live. And Tori, you found out the Sheriff's Department is rallying behind him. Yeah, that's right, CJ. Senior Deputy Dan McSkibbing has been with the department for 16 years. His fellow law enforcement officers are rallying behind him and his family after an injury that nearly ended his life. Dan McSkimming was an outgoing husband and father. Hikes with his family, outings to the beach, and horseback rides with his young daughter. But in August, a seemingly small but painful injury to his neck while on patrol caused a major problem. I couldn't believe it. I didn't. It made no sense to me how a guy in shape like that could be, could something like that could happen. A blood clot formed in the 43-year-old's neck, and when it broke loose, he suffered a stroke. Sergeant Brian Teelst and Senior Deputy Doug Jones work with Dan on the SWAT team, and now they're missing a member of the team while he recovers. He's not going to give up. We know he's not going to give up, and he's fighting every day, and now he's reached these pinnacles where he's progressing and into a rehab facility, and he's going to continue to fight and recover. Stacy McSkimming is keeping a positive outlook, not only for her husband of 12 years, but their two children. He's alive, very much alive, and so I think that's a gift in itself because some people, you know, don't come out as well. So I think he's going to come back and he's going to be just fine. Stacy stopped working so she could be with her husband. To lighten the financial burden, the Special Enforcement Team Foundation has collected donations. More than $30,000 has been raised in just 13 days. I just can't believe that people want to help us, you know. I feel like, why us, you know, and I want to pay it forward. And it's, it's just, it's amazing. Although he can't speak to her, Stacy says Dan listens and communicates. We found our ways. Hand squeezes, eye blinks. <laughs> we found our ways. The Sheriff's Department is planning a barbecue fundraiser in February for Dan and his family. Once those details are available, we'll bring them to you. If you'd like to donate to the Dan's webpage, you can log on to our website, KEYT.com, for all the information. Live in Santa Barbara, Victoria Sanchez, News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Tori. Wishing him all the best. Yes. Come